Sun. On a sunny day, the little goats were playing football in the park. Please, please take me too. I love to play football. Our attack starts from the left side, but stop. Now Ronaldo grabs the ball. Pelle passed him, and he scored. Goal! Yes, dear audience, we applaud Brazil because they'll win the World Cup for the fifth time. It was a super game. We're covered in dirt. Let's get cleaned. We're also starving. But I didn't get to play. Hmm. Okay, I promise we'll let you play next time. But if you want, you can join us. We're having cookies and milk. <laughs> Yay! Hey, Wolf, that was quite a nice shot. Of course, Pele taught me. He's a close friend of mine. Pele? The legendary football player Pele? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. We we talk every day. He he really likes me. You're making this up, Wolf. How can you be friends with Pele, one of the world's most famous player? If you don't believe me, let's go to Rio de Janeiro and I'll introduce you to him. My aunt also lives there. Okay, we're going with you. Let's see your friend Pele and your aunt. Yay! Yay! Uh, sure, why not? Of, of course. Uh. When we get there, we'll go to Carnival Kids. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> After a long trip to Rio de Janeiro, Mother Goat and the Little Goats went to the famous carnival. There! Look! Look! My aunt is there! Wow! Your aunt is so cool! Yippee! This is fun! The excitement of the carnival surrounded everyone. They were all happy and in a good mood. Mother Goat and the Little Goats returned to their hotel after the carnival. Wasn't that fun? Yes, it was indeed! Kids, we have many places to visit tomorrow. Let's get some rest. The next day, Mother Goat and the Little Goats went to the Museum of Tomorrow. Wow! What a, ma what what a, a magnificent sight! The museum looks like it's floating. This building also produces its own electricity. It has solar panels that generate electricity from solar energy. Technology and nature together? How amazing is that? My aunt is expecting us for dinner this evening. Are you coming? Hmm, why don't you also invite Mr. Pelé? We'll meet him at dinner. What do you think? Well, of course. Consider it done. Where is Mr. Pelé? Sometimes you kick, and it doesn't turn out right. <laughs> D just wait and see. He'll come. Yeah, right. I doubt he'll come. <laughs> <laughs> we have a helicopter tour tomorrow, kids. Wolf, get ready. I bought you a ticket, too. Awesome! We'll see the world-famous Christ the Redeemer statue and Maricana Stadium by helicopter. A very nice tour awaits us. That Mr. Pelé? What? Let me get off right now! I'll get off! How is that possible? How are you going to get off? I'll put on that parachute and I'll jump down! Yes, I'll do exactly that! As Mother Goat was trying to stop him from jumping, the wolf had already jumped off the helicopter! I'm coming, Pelé! Wait for me! Ah! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. The wolf hangs 
from the parachute. Oh, I don't have any luck. I really thought it was Pelé. This sculpture looks really like him. It was a great day! Let's go swimming at the Copacabana beach! I also want to play football in the sand! Okay, let's go then! Is everybody ready? I'm starting the match. Yes, dear audience. Both teams take the field. Weather conditions and ground are suitable for playing football. After the coin flip, the Brazilian team starts the match with the yellow and green headbands. The opposing team attacks as if they are going to score a goal. Shot and the ball is out, unfortunately. Now the ball is in our team. They move like a storm. Both players went to pass. Pass me the ball! No, no! Pass it to me! Eh, eh. I'm waiting! Come on, musician! Do a ground pass! No, no! Pass it to me! Make an air pass! Seeing the wolf was in a strategic position, Musician passed the ball to the wolf. The wolf took off, flipped backwards in the air and hit the ball with a Pele kick. Everyone was watching the ball and holding their breath. And go! 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 Oh my god! What an amazing goal that was! Bravo! Hooray! Wolf, you are number one! Once upon a time, while shooting hoops, Athlete Goat was getting worn out and overly tired. I can make it! Ever since they got the new basketball hoop on the farm, she had been shooting some baskets. I can make it! I can do it! Meanwhile, in the forest, the wolf was very hungry. He was idly looking at the stars. These stars look like fish. Yum! And, and those stars over there... ...look like fried eggs. So good! The wolf then looked at the moon and remembered what Panda Bear had told him one day. Panda Bear told him that if he lived on the moon, he would never go hungry because the moon was a giant cheese. The moon is made of cheese. It is a giant cheese, yes. How can I get there? It is so far. If I could only take Inventor Goat Spaceship, but I know she won't let me. I have to make it this time. I can make it. I can do it. Athlete Goat kept trying, but she couldn't make any baskets. The wolf smiled mischievously as he was already scheming a plan to go to the moon. 
Hey, athlete! Do you really want to make it? Of course! I can show you how! Okay, but no cheating! I promise, no cheating! Cool, it's a deal! There's only one thing I need inventor spaceship! Huh? Okay, I guess I can borrow it from her! Athlete asked her sister inventor to borrow the spaceship. After some preparations... Oh, 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 oh. They were ready to blast off. Wait for me, giant cheese. I'm coming! Cheese? They landed. Athlete realized something when she stepped out on the moon. I feel very light. Almost like floating because the moon has little gravity. I bet I can shoot hoops now. Athlete Goat placed the basket hoop on the moon's surface. She was sure she would be able to slam dunk this time. And slam dunk! I made it! Yay! Yippee! Yay! Yay! Meanwhile, on the other side of the moon, the wolf wasn't so lucky as he couldn't find any cheese. This is not cheese! These are... Th these are... Traitors! <laughs> Once upon a time, one day, the athlete goat was working out in the gym. First, she ran on the treadmill. Then, she rode the stationary bike. And lastly, she did some weights. She added the heavy weights on each side of the barbell, one by one. Now, I have to rub my hands with powdered chalk. She rubbed her hands with powdered chalk so the barbell wouldn't slip. The little athlete goat was a very strong weightlifter. She would even lift twice her own weight. Weakling goat, weightlifter wannabe, I will show you how it's done. The wicked wolf was jealous of the athlete goat, so he came up with a plan to teach her a lesson. Hey, if you're so great, can you lift the barbell while being tickled? That's very dangerous. Stop! The barbell will fall! Ah! Oh! Ha ha ha! Stop! Ah! What's wrong, you weakling? Come on, catch me if you can, unless you're too fat to do so! <laughs> The little athlete goat started chasing the wolf. Where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. I will catch you and use you as my way. Obviously, the wolf instead of running, he hid among the bushes. While the goat went the opposite way, the wolf came out of his hiding place. He quickly ran to where the weightlifting equipment was and grabbed the goat's barbell. If 
that weakling can live this, so can I. I, oh, ah, oh, yeah. It's too heavy. I know why. She put something on her hands. What was it? Salt or oil? Mm, it, 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 it must be oil. Now, let's see who's stronger. A little more. Mm. I can do it. Uh, maybe uh, I, I can. I can do it. Uh, <laughs> help! Is anyone there? I'm I'm stuck under the barbell. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm cold, I'm hot. Help! The wicked wolf got what he deserved. While he was stuck under the barbell, the athlete goat was enjoying a delicious dinner with her family.